it in, now it's time to begin We're gonna get it started Just believe in your dream and you know you can be Anything you want it What's going on guys? I'm the Startup Chauffeur and I interview inspiring startup founders You ask questions, they answer them Today I'm joined by Christina Moreno Founder and CEO of She Matters. So, Christina, your elevator page starts right now. Awesome. Yeah, She Matters, we're a social enterprise recruitment agency with a mission to empower female newcomers to enter the labor market. Um, that's on paper, that's black and white. But what really is the heart of She Matters is working with these fantastic, resilient, and talented women and uh, connecting them to the labor market. Uh, so we offer workshops on hard skills, soft skills, um, but really the foundation is emotional and psychosocial support, sisterhood and camaraderie. Um, at the same time, we work with corporates who need to fill vacancies, right? So it just makes sense for them, for us to match them with these quality, with these quality candidates. Um, it's a joy to do what I do. Um, I just strive every day to make a difference. Why do you think that we have a relatively small number of female founders? Hashtag ask founders. Uh, that's a great question. I think for, well, speaking for myself, um, when I was looking to do this last year, um, I did not associate entrepreneurship with, with, with myself. Um, you often see the words aggressive, um, overconfident, um, risk-taking when you think of, when you research entrepreneurship. And for me, I just couldn't identify with that. Um, also, as a um, yeah, Hispanic woman, I could not see um, sort of women who had gone before me. I could not relate to them in any way. And even when I went on uh, social media, um, Instagram, for instance, I saw, yeah, very polished photos that I just thought, yeah, that's not me. So I think it's a combination of this perception of, um, you know, you have to be sort of this aggressive person um, and a risk taker to be an entrepreneur, which is absolutely not true. Um, I think that the key for this um, has been for me, um, willing to enjoy the journey, knowing that you're gonna fall on your face, many, many times, um, but keep going, picking yourself up and learning. Uh, I think that that was huge for me and I continue to, to strive for that every day. If you literally Google um, famous, fa famous entrepreneurs, just do it like even today, the first 33 images that come up are men. You know, so you have like Elon Musk, you have like Richard Branson, you have, um, Bill Gates. Um, you have these men, and then it's only sort of when you start scrolling, you start seeing, you know, like like Oprah Winfrey. Um, you know, um, for me, that was important to see her because she's a woman, but also she's a woman of color. Um, J.K. Rowling, you start, you know, seeing her, but where are the women? You know, and then um, I was also curious about that. The number of female social entrepreneurs is starting to increase. This is social entrepreneurs, not entrepreneurs. So why is that? Women tend to care more about making an impact. Um, that attracts them more if you, you know, sort of have a, a goal where you can make a difference in the world, whether it's with people or with the environment. That's attracting more women to become entrepreneurs. So they're starting to become sort of this um, rise in, in numbers of social entrepreneurship with women. What skill do you wish you had but didn't? And what do you wish you knew before starting your own venture? Hashtag ask the founders. One of the skills that I wish I had and probably will never uh, master regardless of how hard I try is the skill of being super organized. Um, for myself, I, I am a visionary and I know I want to go there, right? And I don't know like how and like, you know, I, like, okay, but I want to go there. Um, so usually in my experience and what I hear from a lot of entrepreneurs is that yeah, this is sort of one of those games where you go from A um, to C and then back to B. Then you go to like F, you have a flat tire on your way to T. I mean, it's that's the sort of the game of entrepreneurship. It does help to be organized. It does help to be focused. Um, I'm so grateful to have a team who has those skills. Uh, for me, I, it was important to bring people on board to compliment me. Um, and that was key for um, for making it a uh, success as, as it has been so far. Um, and the second Second question, um, um, what do you wish you knew before starting your own venture? Uh, yeah, I think I wish I knew, um, I expected it to be hard, right? I, I knew, okay, it is going to be hard, but I didn't know the level of uh, difficulty that sometimes this could bring. Um, there are definitely times where um, I question, you know, is this, am I having an impact? Is this going well enough? Um, 
I, I think that had I known that, had I sort of had this insight of really what the true life of an entrepreneur, entrepreneur was, I could have prepared better. Um, so that was something that was a little bit um, of a shock to me. Um, but, um, you know, again, we, we just keep going. Picking yourself up is key. And, uh, yeah, just always being open to the possibilities. What was your biggest motivation to start your own business? Hashtag ask founders. My biggest motivation um, were the women who I had met in the beginning. Um, I knew I wanted to give back um, and help uh, provide support to the refugee community. I didn't know what that meant. It could have been donating clothes or teaching English. But as I started to do research, I met with many women who just moved me, uh, really changed my life. And I, I was seeing in front of me sort of this, um, uh, you know, the epitome of the unbreakable human spirit, um, strength, resilience, and in the form of women. And I, I, I was so moved and I thought, you know, how what is going on and this is, is there's something I could do with women um, I was able to dig from my past um, someone who has lived in poverty someone who has uh, in the beginning really had, was never looked at but always looked through um, having a dream of being a lawyer and being told time and time again that that wouldn't happen um, but picking myself up at that moment and fighting and saying I this is my life and this is this is mine this is no one else's um, that's what motivated me to, to ultimately become an international lawyer in The Hague. And I was seeing that same drive and determination from the women who I was meeting. And that for me was magic. And um, they are the ones who keep me going every day. Those, they are the ones who make this all worthwhile. Um, and that is, uh, yeah, that was and still is the, the biggest motivation uh, why I do what I do. How did you get funding? Some startups had to get a male founder to be taken seriously. Hashtag ask founders. That's a good question. Uh, one of the benefits of, of our legal identity as we've set it up um, as a, a Dutch uh, Stichting, which is a not-for-profit, and a BV, is that uh, we could rely on subsidies from uh, well, as a traditional not-for-profit. Um, so, for instance, um, for our pilot, we received um, a small subsidy from a local foundation to run our pilot program and to test our, our, our concept. Um, now that that's happened, uh, we will receive a subsidy from the Humane to Amsterdam to bring She Matters um, there this fall. Um, and what that's given us is sort of this, this it, it, the subsidy is sort of we're using it as seed funding uh, to further, you know, validate our assumptions, to test the market um, and to, you know, get more launching customers who will pay us, you know, the, the funds that a traditional recruitment agency will receive by placing quali quality and qualified candidates. Um, so there's a lot of maneuvering around, but that's what make this that's what makes us so innovative and so interesting and exciting, sometimes scary, but ultimately cool. What is, in your opinion, the difference between a male and a female entrepreneur? Hashtag ask founders. That's an awesome question. Uh, I think that the biggest differences from what I've seen are that the men are uh, more confident uh, in, in their venture. Um, for instance, when I started out, you know, doing this, I had no idea what, what's a business plan, what's market research, huh? you know, because I, I was an international lawyer. Um, that was my background. Um, but when I was, you know, meeting other not entrepreneurs and just learning from them, uh, I met with both men and women. The men seem to be more confident that the money will come that their idea would work. Um, I met many, many men who said, um, yeah, I mean, I, I, I'm just learning right now. You know, I'm just learning, I'm, 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 I'm perfecting my craft, I'm doing research. I know the money will come. In the meantime, I'm just, in, you know, enjoying the ride. Uh, but the women, on the other hand, were sort of, you know, it, it seemed a, a little bit unsure, um, you know, that, that, that what they were doing was right. I think that because, you know, perhaps there's a um, less likely for risk taking there, uh, there was just such a, a, a difference and um, in my case, I try to tell people as much as possible, just try to keep it real. 
um, that I am not the perfect, uh, you know, entrepreneur. Um, I will be completely honest that, you know, this is hard. I've fallen on my face. I've picked myself up. I've made numerous mistakes. Um, but for me, I just try to keep the overall picture of just trying to make a difference and trying to enjoy the ride, enjoy the journey. Um, and that's been for me really key to um, being overly anxious, um, scared. Um, that's really helped me in, in, in my experience. Can you give female entrepreneurs who want to launch their own startup a practical tip? Hashtag ask founders. Absolutely. Uh, I think that as, um, as women, I think that we have to be prepared to go into this uh, knowing what the numbers are, what the statistics are. There aren't many of us to look up to or to ask questions. Um, I think knowing that and being prepared for that right from the jump is going to be crucial. Um, and, and once you know that and you, know, you have that, that knowledge, um, I would say it's about balance balance, 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 um, having a tribe around you who you surround yourself with, who can pick you up when you're down, um, you know, women who are both inspiring, down to earth, um, will tell it like it is. For me, I met many, many women um, who, for, who just are just so inspiring for me and who've taught me so much. Um, I couldn't do what I do without them. So that for me has been key. What inspired you to launch She Matters? And when was the first time you realized that you were making an impact? Hashtag ask founders. What inspired me to, to launch She Matters was after I did research, after I knew that I wanted to give back in a way that hadn't been done before, that me as Christina, that I could really make a difference, I found that um, women were not being supported as they should be. Female newcomers were not being supported. And so looking at the research, we know that women and girls make up half of any refugee population worldwide. Yet the support for them, the gender specific programming for them as women, as mothers, as sisters, as daughters, that was not there, that was missing. And I couldn't understand that. I couldn't understand why was there no support for them? Why are policies treating uh, refugees as, you know, sort of the same? You know, me as a woman, I have different um, needs. I have different dreams than a man. Uh, yeah, it's just, it is what it is. Um, and after meeting the women and, and hearing their stories and asking them at the end of each story, um, what's your dream? Yeah, they all said my dream is to get a job. And then I started to look at the potential of that by bringing in their skills, their knowledge, their talent um, to the Netherlands. If we could draw that out and support them, um, can you imagine what the possibilities are for this amazing country in terms of innovation, um, science, science um, medicine, um, technological advances? Um, it, just make, it just made sense. And so it, it was sort of a combination of, of all of those factors and I think the first time when I realized I was making an impact, um, yeah, it, 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 it would have to be when I made that first phone call and, and told my first candidate um, that she got the job. Um, and uh, I remember that week because it was, a, it was a really difficult week. It was our first match. Um, the contracts were up in the air. Um, I had drafted them. Um, the company had many questions and were, they were a little bit hesitant. They were our first launching customer, so of course, you know, they were asking what's what. And uh, I remember I got the phone call saying, um, we, we want to move forward with this candidate. We would love to invite her to, to come join us. And I remember making the phone call, and that was a tough week. I mean, again, I, I, did I shower that week? I don't know. You know, it was just, it was just crazy. Um, but I made the phone call, and, um, and then the tears came. I heard her daughter in the background cry, and then it was, she, she just said through tears, um, Christina, thank you. Thank you for fighting for me. Thank you for fighting for us. Um, thank you for not giving up on me. And for me, that's gold. That just, you can't, you can't buy that, right? And um, I still get chills just thinking about that. Um, as long as I'm happy and fulfilled doing what I do, the day that this becomes work, the day that I just don't have the heart in it, that's a day that I knew I took a wrong turn somewhere, somewhere, and that's a day that I, that I will know, um, yeah, I need to do something else. Now, Christina, the stage is yours. What message do you want to get out there? 
Yeah, we're still looking for launching customers. So if you or if you know a company who's looking to join us on our journey of transformational change and friendly disruption, please get in touch. Uh, you can reach me at christina.moreno at shematters.nl. Also at a practical side, we still do operate as a not-for-profit, so donations are accepted. Um, you can please look into that on our website at www.shematters.nl. Thanks so much, guys. So guys, we reached the end of the interview. Make sure to follow Startup Chauffeur on LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And stay tuned for an announcement of the next startup founder. You ask questions using the hashtag AskFounders and they answer.